All right, so in chapter six, we're going to talk about frameworks, and in particular, PHP frameworks. And there's a ton of them out there, and we'll be working with one exclusively, but I'll go through some of the um, top choices. All right, so first of all, what is a framework? Uh, this is the definition of a framework. A framework is a hierarchical directory that encapsulates shared resources, which can include dynamic shared libraries, nib files, images, localized strings, header files, and reference, reference documentation, all wrapped up in a single package. And just about every po programming or scripting language has some kind of framework available. Um, CSS has frameworks. Um, even HTML and JavaScript have frameworks, Ajax, um, but we're going to in particular talk about PHP frameworks, which is a web framework. So the different, the definition of a web framework is a little different than uh, just a, a framework for all programming languages, um, including desktop applications and, and so forth. So a web framework is designed to support the development of dynamic websites and applications. It aims to alleviate the overhead associated with common activities performed in web development. For instance, many frameworks provide libraries and APIs for database access, templates, and session management. So when you're working with a, with a PHP framework, um, it'll usually include an easy way to interact with the database um, and that's all set up for you. The connection is all set up. Um, templates, they, most of them have some kind of template or view system uh, and session management and they usually come with some kind of user authentication um, you know so you don't have to build a login system from scratch. So why use frameworks? Uh, well there's a ton of reasons and this is just a few. So frameworks make it easier to, to work with complex technologies. So in some of these frameworks such as Yi, which is the one we're going to be working with, um, Code Igniter, a lot of these frameworks you don't even have to know a, a lot of PHP. Uh, as long as you know the basics, you know how a loop works, um, you know how to, how to scroll through a loop with a for each uh, I mean, I'm sorry, through an array with a for each loop, um, things like that, things that we've learned in the PHP section. Um, so it makes it easier to work with. Um, they tie together a bunch of discrete objects or components into something more useful. Uh, they force developers to implement code in a way that promotes consistent coding, less bugs, and more flexible applications. So if you create your own framework or you're just building from scratch with no framework at all, um, you know, there's a lot of bug testing. Um, a lot of the times it's, it's not well put together. It's not, it doesn't use best practices. When you use a framework, you're pretty much forced to code the right way. Um, anyone can easily test and debug the code, even code that they didn't write. So it's easy to look at other people's code because this, they're following the same uh, convention that the framework requires. Um, it greatly re reduces repetitive and tedious tasks, which is my favorite. Um, I hate, absolutely hate, having to rewrite the same thing over and over. Um, that's why I really like using frameworks because it takes care of all that tedious little stuff you know like the login system um, all, all different kinds of things templates you know you don't have to uh, re rewrite the same HTML on every page you just have one template or view um, it's all it's already there and, and ready to use so we're going to talk about PHP frameworks and these are basically the top five frameworks in terms of popularity um, and community and the first one is Yi that's Y-I-I and that's the framework that we're going to be working with in this chapter uh, we will go over it in the next slide 
um, but we're also look at code igniter which is another one of my favorites it's very easy to use uh, Zend which is, is really popular um, but usually used for larger scale applications uh, cake PHP is uh, it's a rapid um, framework it allows you to create pages and applications really fast um, they have a really nice scaffolding feature to, to, to just um, streamline development. Symphony is another popular one, but it's Symphony is definitely the hardest, or has the biggest learning curve on this list, uh, and it's usually used in enterprise level applications. So it's, it's used for big, you know, big stuff. All right move along and here we have a framework comparison chart and you can see that Yi is way up here all right so then is Zend and then code igniter cake PHP and symphony are all kind of on the same level um, but you can see how popular the Yi framework is and this is just a list of features um, for each framework uh, well, not really features, but uh, requirements. So we have Yi down here, uh, Code Igniter. We have some other ones we haven't talked about. Uh, DIY, PHP on tracks. I haven't used any of these. Um, PHP Open Biz, um, Prado, which is where Yi originated from, um, and it just tells us which version of PHP. Uh, some of these still support PHP 4 which is pretty much gone. It's, it's more than on its way out. Um, you definitely want to be working with PHP 5 which all of these frameworks are compatible with. Um, they all except for this easy components which I've never used they all go on the model view controller framework or structure which is an excellent structure to use in web applications. Uh, multiple databases, some of them, you can see that Yi has checks all down the line, except for PHP 4, but we don't even want that anyway. Um, ORM, DB objects, templates, so a lot of these, most of these use some kind of template system. Uh, caching, which is a great feature because it basically makes your applications faster. Uh, validation, so that's form validation. Um, Ajax support, authentication models, modules, and EDP. So you can see uh, Yi has, has all these checked, so uh, it's definitely one of the best. So that's why we'll be working with that particular framework. So the MVC architecture, we've talked about this a few times. Uh, it stands for Model View Controller. Uh, and each of these areas do certain things. For instance, the controller handles user input. So when someone goes to a website and they submit a dynamic form, that usually goes to the controller. And then the controller will choose what to do with it to maybe pass it to the model which deals with the database and then ultimately passes it back out to the user uh, through a view. So it's also sometimes known as a traffic controller or a front controller or a director uh, so that, that's what the controller does. The model is all about the database interacting with the database and the logic and business function. So basic logics, conditionals, things like that, um, database stuff, the, the controller will ask the model for certain data. It'll ask for a query, say select all from the employees table. Um, the model is what would go in and grab that and pass it back to the controller. And then finally the view will have all our HTML, all the presentation output. Uh, and anything that it grabbed from the controller. So the controller can grab info from the model and then display it through the view. So it's a really nice design pattern and I really prefer using this, this kind of design pattern. 
Um, it was originally designed for personal computing, but it has been widely adopted by web technologies like PHP, uh, Ruby on Rails, um, all the frameworks that we've looked at. And this is a basic graphic showing you how MVC works. So we have the user, which is the person sitting at their computer or mobile device, and they make a request. Maybe they go to a web page or submit a form, but whatever it is, it goes to the controller, and the controller manipulates and, and goes to the data, to the model, which then can be passed to the view, and then the view is what the user sees. Okay, so the user sees the view and they submit to the controller. Alright, so we'll go through each of these frameworks and, and some of their popular features or best features. Um, the Yi framework is uh, statistically the most popular as of now in 2013. Um, it's used to assist in building Web 2.0 sites and applications. Um, obviously it goes on the model view controller architecture. Uh, it uses active record which makes it really simple to deal with the database to write queries. Um, instead of doing all that manually we can go through active record. Uh, it's very high performance. It has enhanced caching so uh, ye, ye applications are typically really fast. Um, it's great for sites like social networks um, even e-commerce sites, directory sites, uh, pretty much any kind of dynamic website. And it's fairly easy to learn when compared to a lot of the others. CodeIgniter, in my opinion, is very easy to learn, probably the easiest, I would say, uh, and it has excellent documentation. Yi has, has well-written documentation as well, uh, but CodeIgniter just explains every little thing you can do. So that's really nice. That's MVC that also uses active record. Um, it has a very small footprint so it's really lightweight and it's even sometimes called a micro framework. And there's also a great community. Cake PHP is known as rapid development because it's really easy to you can set up a basic site in five minutes using the scaffolding feature. You can create controllers, models, and views on the fly uh, without even writing any code. You can do this through scaffolding in the browser. Um, it also uses Active Record. It's very flexible and Cake PHP works really well with small applications. It's not typically used on large enterprise type of sites and applications. The Zend framework on the other hand is. It's usually medium to large scale applications uh, it is very flexible, but it does require more PHP experience. So it has a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, it's very secure, and it also has a great following and community. And lastly, we have the Symphony framework, which is the most difficult to learn. Um, it's used in mostly uh, very large scale applications. It does require more PHP experience and also experience in design patterns and architectures. Um, it does run on the MVC architecture and it is very high performance. So that's pretty much the gist of frameworks and some of the top PHP frameworks. Uh, next we'll be looking at the Yi framework in particular.